Well, hi, folks. My name is Dan Lenny. Welcome back to IBC 2030. We're on the TVU booth here. Michael, what did TVU do? Uh, TVU develop products for delivering uh, video content live uh, from the field using mobile uh, broadband, cellular networks. Um, this allows people to uh, be able to transmit um, without the added costs involved in satellite technologies. Um, it also allows them to get into environments where they otherwise wouldn't be able to get with a, you know, a satellite truck. Um, the uh, TVU product uh, has recently been uh, upgraded with new versions of software, enabling easy, greater ease of use in the field. Uh, journalists now uh, have, have less work to get the system up and running and set up uh, when they when they go between move between locations. So this this is like a backpack transmission suite. Exactly, it's like a, it's like a, a satellite truck in a backpack. And what happens when that signal comes back to base? Is there any technology that that helps to kind of decode that? Or how does all this stuff work? Basically the pack delivers to a server, um, traditionally delivers to a server in, uh, back in your MCR or back in your in your facility. Um, it, it decodes the video back to uh, baseband, so SDI, which you then plug into your, uh, your, your router for, for transmission. Um, the, a, a recent development is new TVU Grid product. TVU Grid um, is a system that lives essentially um, lives in the cloud. It allows you to deliver from multiple backpacks from all over the world, delivering into a central location, and then distribute that content to all of your facilities, where, no matter where they are in the world, using low-cost IP uh, technology, just the standard internet connections. As 4G is being rolled out across networks, is this more significant? Well, definitely, 4G uh, bandwidth is, sev is several times faster than 3G. Um, often you've had to use a lot more SIM cards in order to guarantee the performance that you need to deliver high quality video. Now you're able to use less networks, which further reduces the cost on deploying these systems.